Hi, my name is Jamie Gow and I'm the Technical Marketing Engineer for the Cisco Unified Attendant Consoles. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to configure your call manager in preparation for installing the Attendant Console server. To begin, I'm going to launch Internet Explorer and I'm going to browse to my call manager. I will then proceed to log in with my user credentials. Once I've successfully logged in, the first thing I'm going to do is create a user group. This user group is going to contain specific roles which allows the attendant console server to communicate with the call manager. To create this group, I'm going to navigate to user management and user group. I'm going to click on add new. I'm going to give my group a name and click save. I'm then going to navigate to assign role to user group and I'm going to click on assign role to group and click find. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select the following roles. Once I've selected those roles I'm going to click on add selected and click on save. The next thing I'm going to do is create an application user. If you're using department edition, business edition or Enterprise Edition, only a single account needs to be created. If however you are using Premium Edition, you'll be using Resiliency and therefore you will need two unique accounts. To create the account, navigate to User Management and Application User and select Add New. Give your user a user ID, set the password Scroll to the bottom of the page and click on add to user group. Click on find and select the group you created earlier as well as standard CCM super users. Click on add selected and then click save. I'm then going to go back to my list and I'm going to create another user which will be used for my subscriber server. Again I'm going to give it a unique name. Set the password and then scroll down and add to the same groups as I did previously and click save. As you'll see in a separate video on how to configure the attendant console server, the attendant console server uses a host of CTI ports and CTI route points to handle calls. What I'm going to do now is create a template device which the attendant console server will use for creating those devices. This template device means I can set unique properties such as calling search base, partitions, device pools or music on hold which the attendant console server devices will then use. To create this device I'm going to navigate to device and phone. I'm going to select add new. In the phone type I'm going to select CTI port and click next. I'm then going to give my device a name and a description. I'm going to select the device pool. I'm going to select the call in search space. I'm also going to select my music on hold. And if I scroll to the bottom of the page, I also need to select the device security profile. And then I'm going to click save. And then click on OK. I'm then going to also proceed to configure a line, so I'm going to click on add a new DN. I'm going to give it a directory number. Add it into a root partition. Give it a description. And again I'm going to set the calling search base. And the music on hold. and then click save. The last thing I need to do is make sure that the Axle service is running on the call manager that my attendant console server is going to connect to. Without this service running, the attendant console server installation will fail. To check this service is running, I'm going to navigate to serviceability and click on go. 
I'm then going to navigate to Tools and Service Activation. I'm going to select my call manager and click Go. I'm then going to scroll down. And this is the service you need to ensure is enabled. If this isn't activated, please activate this service or consider using a different communications manager in your cluster. Please note that some of these steps may vary if you are using a different version of the call manager. You can refer to our documentation for specific steps in the version of call manager that you are using. You can also now refer to our videos for installing the Attendant Console Server software or configuration of the Attendant Console Server.